take this off my shoulders. All right, well, welcome back, guys. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on the status of the front lawn. I haven't done one in a while, so uh, let's talk a little bit about what's going on. I'm going to flip the camera around, and hopefully the car noise isn't terrible, but we'll see. So on the front here, I've been cutting this with the rotary mower, and uh, I've been cutting it at the highest height uh, throughout the summer, and I'll maintain that going into probably the fall. And then with the main yard here, um, you'll remember I actually laid sod um, in this whole area. Uh, comes over here and goes up, and uh, you can see around the tree, it's been struggling and I think a lot of it has to do with um, just not getting enough light. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to either maybe go with some zoysia in this area or just um, extend this and make it a little bit bigger, which would um, take a little of the mowing away. But um, it's just really hard to get that grass to really um, grow in there tight. So... I am still cutting this section of the yard with the rotary mower and I'm cutting it um, at about an inch and a half um, or so and uh, to kind of give you guys a comparison I've been I have to get my real mower out here and this little section uh, right in here um, is for my gate is and so it's hard to see here but you can see the difference in the height of cut I think will show up on the camera and uh, this was also new sod so i've also been kind of testing what it looks like when i cut this newer sod a little bit lower um, and then this in that same kind of area same about amount of sun and shade this is all new sod um, tip way and i've been cutting that with the rotary mower so it's actually looking really good compared to where i was last year i got a lot better results um, and so i'm really kind of um, i feel pretty positive of kind of where we're at with it uh, it's got a little bit of yellowing because I did let the the cut go a little longer than I wanted to let's walk over here and see the other side I'm hoping this is gonna show up it's pretty bright out here but uh, the front walk and uh, my neighbors had some problems with her sprinkler so she's really kind of struggling with the heat that we've had um, but I'm really happy with the results that we've got over here I'm, I'm cutting this with the rotary mower um, I am cutting it at the highest height on that cow trimmer, um, and it's probably close to inch and a quarter, um, if I were to guess, uh, right in there. And uh, so it's uh, it's doing pretty good. Um, really love the color, and uh, you know the difference in the yard over the front yard under the tree and over here. You know, getting the light and then cutting it with that uh, cutting it with the uh, real mower is making such a huge difference over here so i'm excited to get to that next year on the entire yard and uh look at those results so all right let's go uh, take a look at the backyard where we scalped it so if you guys remember uh in my last video i took the the backyard down here um the lowest i've cut it in august and probably close to one of the lowest settings i've, I've cut it on definitely with the rotary mower and so uh I didn't know what to expect, how quickly it would re rebound. We're still having temperatures in the upper 90s. I think Thursday this week we're going to hit 100. And so, you know, I guess I cut and then kind of prayed a little bit to see, hope that it was going to come back. So let's, let me back up here and we'll give you kind of uh, the results uh, after one week. So this is uh, the, the side of the yard by the pool, kind of the longest run. You can definitely still see some yellowing in there from where I scalped it. Um, I did bring it up one notch on the cow trimmer, uh, which is actually bringing it back to where I was cutting that originally uh, when I first got the cow trimmer. So I believe I'm at about seven eighths uh, on my high to cut. And uh, you know, it's actually rebounding pretty well. I've got some trouble areas from um, heat stress that I've been dealing with. You can see a little bit right in here. There's also a little bit of a hill, so it might have taken it down a little bit deeper than I was um, anticipating. Kind of funny, you can see some stripes in there, and, and this is really the first cut since I, I scalped it. Um, also along the fence, um, I've got a temperature gauge um, back in my pool, and on the fence, the temperature reads 
almost every day at over 100 degrees so you can definitely know that 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 whole fence line is going to be kind of the hot spot in the yard um, and then this little section here i've bought this all year i think i've got an issue with my sprinklers so i'm going to have to address it um, they're just probably not putting down enough water i think when i readjusted some of them this year um, i actually took a little bit of the pressure away and i'm just missing this section right in here so um, and then that section up there um, I'm not really sure what's going on with it other than I, I know there's a lot of compaction up there and um, even though I'm I got a sprinkler head right there I don't know if it's a watering issue when I did scalp it it definitely turned brown um, probably a little bit more than anything else so um, but all in all um, it's green and back up um, we're uh, I think probably by Saturday this week um, we'll be looking at uh, being a pretty uh, close to being back to what I was with a better height of cut and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that I can uh, get back to enjoying the lawn versus looking out here and, and praying that it's going to green back up. I did put down Carbon X last week. I believe I put that in my video. Um, I put one pound of nitrogen down uh, across the entire yard front and back. Um, I have not applied any of the next products. I was going to do it this weekend. Uh, and I just didn't get a chance. I do have rain forecasted for Wednesday from the hurricanes coming through Texas. So I'm hopeful that I will get uh, some of that rain. So I'm going to try to get the next products down maybe tonight. Give them a little bit of chance to maybe get um, washed in um, this week. And uh, I do have some high temperatures though too. So I hate putting down products and then them getting kind of baked off. I don't know if that happens or not. Um, but it's always something that I worry about. So kind of, that's kind of the update. Again, I, I wanted to say a welcome to a bunch of new members uh, that, that subscribed this week. Or not members, but those of you that have subscribed. And uh, thank you again uh, for joining in. I uh, love the comments. We've had some great conversations. Uh, a lot of questions about the real mower. Budget Lawns, if you guys don't follow him, he just picked up a cow trimmer. So he's going to be doing some updates for you guys that that have um, a cow trimmer and want to get some more information or maybe you're thinking about making that purchase uh, you know check his channel out he's, he's a great guy and does things kind of on the cheap which is what we all need when we're taking care of these lawns here's a quick snapshot of the pool area I just walked um, and I did not scalp in here um, like I said my wife would have been a little upset because this is her little oasis back here and I have a sprinkler issue that's missing right there and I found I have a little small leak so I got to fix that so always something to be working on appreciate you guys coming by love your comments give me a like if you haven't subscribed come along for the journey uh, we're always talking about being in the lawn and what we're trying what we're finding out what we're experiencing uh, I still got quite a bit of summer here in Texas so I'm looking forward to some maybe some lower temperatures and enjoying a little bit more um, of this uh, the summer that we're going to get. I call it my second summer in September and October. So thanks again. We'll talk to you soon.